Hey there, many X viewers. I'm watching the main man channel. It's not just a name, it's a way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Each and every day, just make it in this cruel old world. As always, I appreciate y'all watching. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Please check me out on uh, Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OozTube, GunStream, or GunTube, Gab, Getter. Appreciate all the support there. If you're Kyle, too, check me out on Patreon. I can always use the help there. Be sure you're signed up for the Glock 19 giveaway. And be sure you're signed up for the uh, whatever month night giveaway is going on. Not sure when this video will get uploaded exactly. So, but those giveaways will be in the description. And they will also be pinned in the comments if I can remember to put them in there. All right, that being said, we've got an Academy bag here. It's got some kind of box in it. So, let's pull that box out. All right, we'll take a look at that box here in a minute. First, I'm going to let y'all know something. If you get the Academy store card, you get $15 off the day you get it. You apply in the store. All they need is your phone number and your driver's license number. And I think... They need your uh, social security number. You enter that all in on that keypad at your checkout, and it gives you $15 off your first purchase. I never in a million years thought I would have qualified one, but I did. And so I got $15 off a little ammo haul that I had there. Uh, and $15 off of ammo right now helps out a lot, folks, because ammo's high up there. But also, that being said, uh, after you get your Academy card, they mail you a coupon in there that gives you a 15% off uh, of a purchase. And uh, they uh, give you a coupon form, and then they give you one to use online. I thought you got two, but you only get one. It's the same coupon. So you can only use it either once online or once in store. But still, 15% off of the price of a firearm is a pretty significant amount. Okay? So that being said, the other day when I was in there, I hadn't got my credit card yet, but I seen something that caught my eye. Now, this is not the bird's head grip model. This is the regular model. But I saw a heritage barkeep in there. And I saw that they had a couple different types. One caught my eye. So we're going to open it up, and you see what you get in there. You get your order form to order your... Uh, Magnum cylinders. So they cost $29.99 plus $8.75 shipping. Okay. You also get your, I'm going to take this out. You get your manual for your heritage bar kit. It's important to read these. And if y'all didn't know, Taurus owns heritage now. And I think has for a long time. But uh, so basically, it's Taurus that you're taking care of. All right, and it comes with one of these good little target locks. You know, you can use them actually as a way to lock down the firearm, or you can actually use them as a target. Whatever you want to do. All right, you see you've got the place for your, you got your gun wrapped up in plastic, your pistol, your revolver, you, and you got the place to put your uh, magnum cylinder when you get it. All right, so let's take this thing out of this plastic and look at it. But first, it also comes with this little tool. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But here it is in the plastic. And I got that gold looking model with the wood grips. Look at this thing, folks. That is very nice. This gun is clear. I just purchased it. I think it's still got the safety thing in it and everything. Okay. Totally cool. It is missing this. And that's that little tag that Taurus puts on their firearms. But uh, this was actually the, the display model. Because they did not have any more of this type in there. So this was actually the, the display. Now, something that ticks me off. I've went into Academy before. And I'll be like, hey. Can I buy that gun right there? And they'll be like, no. That's the display model. It's the only one we got in stock. I'm sorry. Well, you won't let me have the display? No. Well, today they let me have the display because it's the only one they had in stock, which is how a store should do. 
Keep that in mind, anybody that's got a gun store, even big box stores. This thing feels pretty good in the hand. Uh, it's your basic Heritage Rough Rider setup. It's got that really short barrel. I actually can't tell you off the top of my head how the length of that barrel. I'm going to show you it's about two, a little over two inches, maybe three. Uh, let's see. Maybe it says on it. Actually, it don't. But it does say Heritage Barkeep 22 caliber. Keep empty chamber under the hammer. Well, that's a safety thing, but uh, I don't think you really have to worry about that, in my opinion. But, you know, if it's on there and you really want to be safe, follow that procedure. Okay, it's got you trigger bar safety, just like any other Heritage. All right, so that keeps the hammer from coming all the way down. It hits that, it will not come all the way down and hit the fire pin with that up. It just will not do it. See? Watch this. It does not go all the way down. See, it does not go all the way down and touch the fire pin. Alright, now. Let's put that down. And now you see it's touching the fire pin. So, if you're Alec Baldwin, and you're a dummy, and didn't index it, and you're cocking that hammer, holding that trigger... Let go of that hammer, pow! You're gonna kill your camera lady. Anyway, that being said, this is something, this is a little safety to keep in mind because we've talked about this before. But I like this gold looking model. Uh, really nice looking. I think it's a really nice looking gun. This is not the bird's head model, like I said, but uh, I still like it. I like the feel of it. Very short revolver. Uh, Really the, th really, the pinky actually probably feels better down here. I could get up a little bit higher on it, but I think the pinky actually feels better down there. Holding it down there. So, uh, yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, so, that being said, let's take a look at it. Yep, alright. So, I'm going to put it in half cock. That's the position it's got to be for you to eject the cells. It does not have an ejector on the barrel like the uh, the six inch and up on the uh, Heritage Rough Rider revolvers. Maybe even some that are a little bit shorter, but this model doesn't have it. So you have to use this to actually go through here when it's in half cock. Open your lift gate, and you have to use that tool to actually eject your empty shells. Okay, your empty casings. Uh, but I think this thing is going to be pretty neat. I can't wait till uh, I get some daylight out there so I can go out to the range and shoot it. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely be trying this out in the first shots video and everything. And it just, I, I think it's nice looking. So it was $179 and I got 15% off. And I've actually got the price here. When you buy a gun at an academy, you get a folder with some safety stuff in it. Uh, a few other things. I don't know what all you get in it, but we'll check it out. If they give me a coupon, we may be using it. Uh, firearms responsibility in the home, your ATF letter, uh, youth letter, a few other things. Shows you how to lock down your firearms when they're safe with that lock target or whatever you want to call it for. But you can actually use that to make your firearm safe. And it's actually showing a Heritage Rough Rider revolver with a cylinder out how to do that. And several other different models. So pretty cool. But good thing about the folder, you can keep a lot of paperwork in here with it. Any paperwork on it. You can put your owner manuals and stuff in there. That way it ain't falling out of your box and everything. So, it was $179.99. Okay. So, that being said, welcome discount, 15% off. That made it $164.99. So, that made it $180.25 tax and all. But it actually it was $190 tax and all with the background check coming out there. They had to buy the background check separately, of course. But, 
since I have a YouTube channel, and a big part of it is gun content. I knew this a few years ago, but I never took advantage of it. If you if you got a gun channel, and you keep all your receipts, you keep up with it, keep it in good order and everything, at the end of the year, if you know what you're doing, now I mean if you know what you're doing when you file your taxes, all this stuff is tax deductible. Or if you go to a tax professional that helps video content creators who knows what they're doing, it's tax deductible. Okay? And let me tell you something. When you start making over a thousand dollars a year on YouTube, you're gonna start owing the IRS a little bit. So if you're making more than a thousand a year on AdSense, so I ended up having to pay, even though I'm working a full-time job and everything, I had to pay 118 in. And also, I had to, uh, I think it was, uh, I had to upgrade to the TurboTax, like the cheapest edition they had is like 20 bucks, because of the certain 1099 forms I had to fill out. So that being said, folks, you need to remember, if you uh, if you do have a gun channel, all your ammo, if you if you've got if you've got an AdSense, all your ammo and firearm purchases can be considered tax deductible if you follow all the tax laws and all the rules and keep up with all your receipts. Now, I am not a tax professional, I'm not a firearms professional, and I'm not a YouTube professional, and I am not a gun channel professional telling you to do that. Just let you know about that advice. Do your own research, check into your own laws, take your own risk. With that being said, tabletop review and unboxing of the uh, Heritage Barkeep uh, this thing's cool folks uh, as far as fitting in your pocket I don't think it will with that but still it's a very very nice easily concealable with a proper holster uh, single action uh, revolver and you know maybe not the most ideal thing for carry but if it's all you could afford, you could do better. I mean, you couldn't. I mean, if it's all you could afford, I mean, it'll do you. It'll do what you need. And if you're just buying it for a novelty item to shoot with or something to have in a toolbox or glove box or a drawer and, you know, get out and paint, maybe a showpiece or whatever, part of your collection, 22LR, you know, you could put the 22 Magnum cylinder in it for concealed carry if you want to. Give you a little bit more kick if you don't think 22 lr is good enough but 22 lr in my opinion is good enough if you know what to do with it and uh it is what it is and i have got thousands of rounds of 22 lr so i'm thinking i can't have enough 22 lr firearms and this is one that i really 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 enjoyed uh the girlfriend seems to like this uh she seems to think she might want to shoot it uh, and maybe use this as a, a home defense weapon for herself. And, you know, she seems to like revolvers. Uh, and she seems to like single-action revolvers. Even though she can operate any pistol platform or any revolver platform, she seems to like them. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So, there it is, folks. Heritage Barkeep uh, Unboxing. Tabletop review and a lot of different talk, uh, talks on a lot of topics. See, even though I ramble a lot and say the same thing over and over again, if you watch all my videos, you're going to learn something you didn't know every time. It is what it is. Sign up for Glock 19 giveaway. Sign up for the knife giveaway, whichever one's going on. Love y'all. Y'all the best people in the world. God bless y'all. Catch you next time.